Yes, I said what I said. I'm not taking this back. Hello, cat people. How are you today? I am Cat Lady and the Honey, and today we are talking about palettes part six. If you have watched the previous five episodes, you already know what we are doing in this series. If you're new, why are you starting from part six? Go to part one. Like it's a good idea to start from there. Basically, here I'm explaining what do I have in my collection, what do I like, what I don't like why I'm keeping some old stuff for nostalgia you know and actually I was thinking to include like a throwback Saturday or something like that where I'm doing my makeup using only older palettes so if you would like to see this idea please write a comment down below to support it because I don't want to feel like I'm alone at it anyway I think I again start talking a lot without saying the things that you are here to hear okay which are obviously my palettes so without any further talking, let's start! Today I want to start by the palette that I have on my eyes and actually I have filmed this makeup right here, it's a review for this palette so you can go there and watch it. If you don't find it there, I will definitely have a link at the description box down below, so make sure that you're not gonna miss it. So here we have Flower Power. This is from BH Cosmetics. If you know what happened with BH Cosmetics Sniff, if you don't know, I have a video about that as well. It's gonna be about uh, BH bankruptcy down here in the description. But anyway, so here we have a very nice palette with a combination of purples, pinks and browns. Actually, it's impressive how tiny, tiny the pants are. Wow, like to me, they are so tiny. But anyway, I think it works and I prefer to have kind of smaller pants every now and then because it's true that I cannot finish my palettes. I have way too many and I want to play with a lot more. So it's impossible for me to finish. So with these pants, actually, I don't feel that bad because I say, okay, they are tiny. They will finish easier. And I think that's the case. Now, when it comes to quality, I'm quite happy. I tried this one right here. It's a cold purple this one that you see here. I'm quite happy because we all know how difficult it is for companies to create a good purple. This one on the other hand, it's a nice color, like nice pigmentation, nice blending. But if you see it here, like look at it, this is brown, this is red. Can you see? Can you see the difference? So you like, what is this? What is this? Uh, all in all, I'm happy with this palette and especially with the price of this palette for all of these shadows. But you know, I have some questions. Palette number two for today and here we have the palette that Aiden gifted to me. I also have a video where I'm reviewing this palette. It's actually a good palette. Aiden is a Hungarian company and recently they started being here in Sweden. So they sent me a very nice PR box with many things including this palette. Actually this palette is kind of dark and neutral for my taste but I tried this one right here and then this one right here and then this one right here like, you know something I like it it's special in its own way and I feel like as a complementary palette it will do a lot so I would definitely recommend it oh I realized that I forgot to mention the name so the name is uh, eyeshadow palette smoky I think it's a collaboration with Simco Linda Sorry if I'm mispronouncing this name as well. I know I have killed a lot of languages in this channel and I don't really feel well about it. But sorry people, like, I know Greek, I know English, I know some basic French, I know some basic Swedish, but that's it. I don't know any other languages, I'm sorry. And let's continue with an older palette from my collection. And this is from NYX Professional Makeup, Glitter Goals, and this is number one, Glacier. These are the glitters that you can find inside, or these were the glitters because as you can see, I have used them a lot. Like I literally have this palette for, I don't know, four years, more than four years. I think it's discontinued. I will try to find the link. If I cannot find the link, that means that it's definitely discontinued. Like I mean, this is very old. I don't think that glitter expires because let's be honest, it's just some 
pieces of plastic. How can this be expired? So I'm still using it, to be honest. It's a good palette. It's a very nice palette. I think that nowadays I have better things in my collection. To be honest, I prefer loose glitter instead of glitter in this pressed form. But why not? Like, it has some interesting colors, especially this blue right here. For the time that uh, I have blue hair, it's just great. Did anyone have any doubts that I'm not gonna talk about Colourpop today? No, people, this is not gonna happen. Here we have Colourpop. So, this palette right here, this is Sailor Moon, the collaboration that Colourpop obviously did with Sailor Moon. Actually, this was a birthday present from my friend Aphrodite. Very nice, I would say. Like, I love this purple right here. I love this shiny, shiny... What's the name? Silver Millennium, and it's a gold. Okay, okay, I'm not expert, name expert. I also loved these three shadows right here, like I feel that these can make amazing combinations or I use it as a complementary palette to other kind of a little bit darker looks. I'm very, very happy with the quality. As always, like Colourpop in general has amazing quality and in general they have very affordable makeup. I also love the thing that Sailor Moon is doing with her mouth, if I move the palette like this 3D effect, oh my god, it's so cute! I really, really love this palette. Like, this palette definitely has a special place in my heart. And I don't know, maybe it's my favorite color pop palette. Yes, I said what I said, I'm not taking this back. Again, I'm gonna talk about a very, very old palette in my collection. So, I Heart Revolution and Mermaid's Heart. Oh my god, like, I have this since I was at uni and this is a long time ago. So you see here the color scheme, so mermaidish. Actually, I loved this color. I just want this palette for this color and only and I pretty much used it a lot. I'm not sure about the quality nowadays because it's true that I haven't used it like for years. I'm trying to remember when was the last time that I actually used this palette. I cannot even remember, like, it was way long ago before I come here to Sweden, so I'm not sure about the quality, like, I know Revolution quality, I don't feel that they are so high in my preferences, and nowadays I have a lot more cosmetics and I don't think that I find them that good, but still I don't want to talk about something that I am not very sure. I think that this is discontinued, but um, again, if I find it, I will leave a link. I don't know, like, that was a series with four palettes, I think one was named Angel's Heart, this Mermaid's Heart, the other one Dragon's Heart, and the other one, I think Unicorn's Heart. The only one that I don't have right now, it's the Unicorn's Heart. And I feel that it's fine since I have the other three and the colors are a little bit repetitive. So yeah, with this and the other two, I'm more than happy, I would say. Andy Goni from the future is there and I'm ready to tell you the Greek word of the day. Apparently, I forgot to record the Greek word of the day for this video. So I'm back from the future and I'm ready to tell you the word for today. So inspired by Nix's quad, I decided to tell you the word for ice and in Greek we say pagos. Say with me, pagos, pagos. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word pagos or tell me the word in your own native language. Let's go, people! Okay, I feel that we had a lot of nostalgia for today, so I'm planning to finish this video with a more recent release. And here we have Saga of Freya, and this is from Udensai, a very nice Swedish brand, indie brand. Like, I literally love everything that they have released. I have tried a lot of their products and they are A plus quality, all of them. So, let's see the color story right here. We have a very, very nice greenish with some orange. To be honest, I haven't tried these specific ones, but I have tried other from this series. I'm planning to do a first impression video with this palette, and I'm really, really curious about Wool Ball right here. It's so promising. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer for you to admire it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so good. And 
I have experience from Udensai duochromes and they are just performing perfectly perfectly nothing less than perfect also I'm very curious about this red warmth and the catnip and you know as a cat mother i have you know a special relationship with all of these names and the cat oh my god that cute cat like this palette is really speaking to me and if you're curious to see me trying wooden chai actually i have a video about this as well and uh, that was the collaboration legendary diversa and especially i was trying two palettes from this collection the one that they have collabed with uh, annette uberstad from the channel annette's makeup corner giant wolf the name of the palette and the other one the hummingbird uh, the collaboration that they have done with tina if i'm not mistaken so i will have a link down below if you want to check it and that was it for today i hope that you enjoyed the part six of my palette collection i hope that you actually like palettes and colorful you know color stories and stuff like that i hope that i made your day a little bit better today don't forget to write a comment down below about if you want to start doing a throwback in some older palettes some discontinued palettes some stuff like that because to me it's so interesting and i would really like to hear your opinion if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more makeup content for unboxing sneak peeks votings q a's and other cool stuff like that you can always follow me on instagram my instagram page is catladyandigoni down here down here editor i see you down here i said don't put it anywhere else today again thank you so so much for being here with me today see you next time until then bye bye